Hello! Welcome to my makeup tutorial. This is my first ever video. I am Taylor Alessana, and I hope you do like this video. This will be an autumn or fall look. I'll be doing the look I have on today. You can, of course, add eyeliner if you want, add whatever else you need, but this is the look I go for in autumn or in fall. I hope you do like it. Of course, if you do, please click like and subscribe. Thank you, and I hope you enjoy! Okay, so I started this look just with my eyebrows. I already put them on. And now I'm going to be moisturizing my skin with Murad. You can buy these at Sephora. Um, it's just a moisturizer. And I am going to take a little bit of this. And prepping my skin with it. Under the eyes, upper lip, nose, jawline, and down the neck and up. I do my chest, forehead, all over your face. And now we are going to, I like to prime my skin after I moisturize. I'm going to be using Senio Kashuk, I think is how you pronounce it. Um, I could be wrong. So I, we're just going to put a squirt and a half on there. And we're going to moisturize it and prep your skin. Down your neck, forehead, kind of the same places you would put the moisturizer. Um, I don't put it on my chest because I don't wear a foundation on my chest. Some women do, some trans women do too. If you do, put it on your chest. Now that we have prepped our skin, I am going to start off with my color correcting. Since I am a trans woman, I need to do up here and right here, where I grow facial hair. For this, I'm going to be actually using a L'Oreal lipstick by, it's L'Oreal and it's called Raspberry Rush 260. If my camera will focus, <laughs> um, I'm just going to put it on a nail art brush. These are amazing for concealing, really deep concealings. And we're just going to put it on all where you will grow facial hair. And this is good for women if they have scars or something, something like that, it will correct them to your skin tone. Just pick a nice orangish red lipstick, or they even, I think they sell a correcting, um, color correcting concealing palette at MAC, I'm not sure. So I've applied it where I need to. Now I'm going to go in with my concealer. And my concealer I'll be using is Kat Von D Tattoo Concealer. And it is in the shade Light, number 16. And I apply my concealer with my fingers and then buff it out with a beauty blender. So I'm just going to take a little bit of this and put it the most important places first. So all my upper lips, since I am a trans woman, I need to conceal that. And don't be afraid to really pack it on there. You want to put it all where you put that red or that orange. And it will, hopefully it will conceal that without col taking the color and moving it. Now I'm going to go ahead and apply it to the places I would need it. And then take a nice amount and just right underneath the eyes. Make I like to make it an upside down triangle or triangle facing your, the inner corner of your eye. I like to pack on very little up here for more of a natural effect. And I just need a little bit more just for my acne spots. And of course if you don't need concealer you can always just skip this because this is just an autumn fall look. This isn't my coverage video. So if you don't need concealer you can always just skip this. Pack it all where you need it. And now it's time for my foundation. So let's let this just dry a little bit, just flatten out. And then once it's dry and matte finish, then you will go in with your foundation. Okay, now that it has dried, I've let it give two minutes to dry. Now I'm going to go in with my Kat Von D foundation. I'm running a little bit low, it's way up there. 
and this is in the color medium 52 and what I do I used to use a sponge but now I use my fingers and then buff it out with a beauty blender so what you're gonna want to do I'd use about a pump and a half on two fingers one here one here right here basically just where you need it and you want to get it all up here all up on your forehead down between your eyebrows and you, I like to just pat and pat and pat away just kind of get it everywhere where I need it and I like to leave this space up here a little bit open because the Beauty Blender can carry foundation up there instead so you don't have it packed on where you want to look a little bit more natural and once you have it to where you would like and once you have it all spread out you can go in I like to damp my beauty blender first and then I take the bottom of it and I just pat 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 all over get under your eye your nose bridge of your nose get everywhere where you put it, get all over your face and just keep patting so it gets that airbrush finish once you have finished patting your foundation down you can now do your neck your chest if you need to, anywhere where you need to and yeah so finish up with your foundation so for me I will be putting a little bit on my neck and your foundation is done so now you can move on now I know I look a little bit different I do not have my contour set or I don't have any contouring done right now but that is the next step so once you have all your foundation and all your concealing done and put your makeup back now it is time for your contouring and for this, I use a thin, very thin, you don't want to add a lot of this, especially if you're using a beauty blender. I'm using a very thin amount of True Match L'Oreal Paris in the color, I think it's Coco? Cool. It's in the color Cool. I've used Coco before, but let's see if, if my camera will focus and the shadow won't be there. I will use the color Cool. You want to shake it and... Don't dip your brush into here, put your brush into the small cap. And for this, for this I am going to be using, I don't buy expensive brushes, so I will be using an e.l.f. brush. I'll be using this one. And you want to use a very thin amount. I like to just go on the sides of the um, top. You just take very little bit off and run it down if you're a trans woman run it down be right below your cheeks so right here if you're a woman run it down the hollows of your cheeks and I like to bring it up a little bit don't bring it up too much because you will if you don't blend it out right you will look like Cher which is no problem with me but if you're not going for that look and you want to follow this you want to blend it out enough once that is done, you want to blend it out. I will dip my beauty blender in some water and dry it off before I do this. So we'll just help it a little bit, you know, help it a little bit, move it around. And by thin coat, you cannot blend it out with a beauty blender if it is wet. You will have to let it mattify and dry. You cannot. If you do, it will carry that foundation and it will absorb it and when you're patting down on the rest of your face it will let it out so you will, and I'm not gonna lie I've been there before you will mess up the rest of your makeup if you do that so, and you will be doing a couple steps of contouring you'll be doing your jawline and a little bit more on your cheeks
blend it out till about you cannot very really see it very good. I think especially right by your nose, you want to blend all that out till it looks something like this. Once you have blended both sides, it should come out something like this. Once you're done blending all this, you will go in with the same true match color. You'll take a little bit from the cap, not a lot, just a little bit, just a little bit more than you did before, and you will trace back of your face right down here, and you'll bring it down your jawline. Now, if you are already comfortable with your jawline, you will not have to do this. But if you want to contour how I contour, you will want to do this. This is one of my key things that I do. I will not leave the house without doing this. I want to get all up here. And you will look like you have a 5 o'clock shadow at that point. Then you want to add a little bit. I like to um, contour my forehead. It just helps it look a little bit more smaller. And you just want to get it all very little, but all down here and connect your contour. That's key. You want to connect all your contours together. Bring it down a little bit, bring this down. You want to connect all of it. Once you have done that, you can blend it out. Once you have blended it all out, you have officially done half of your contouring. Now what you want to do is you want to cap up your true match and put it aside. You are, you are done with it. Then you want to go in. I have a Sino Kushuk, um, I think that's how you pronounce it, brow kit. And I use this as contouring in. Sometimes I'll use it for my brows, but I usually use Anastasia by Sephora. And with my contouring, I will take this color and this color, very dark colors, and I will go in with a thin brush, very thin, you don't want to do it too harsh. I use a brush about this thick, and this is by e.l.f., and you want to mix this color with this color, very little. Just want to mix those together. Now you will be doing a line. You want to bring it down a small curve and then bring it up. So you should come out with something like this. And now this is not making your cheekbones, but it is bringing the hollows of your cheek. If you want to make your cheekbones, you want to go up a little bit higher. So you should come out with something like that. You want to do the same to the other side. Bring a small, small Yui. And you should come out with something like this. You don't want to do your jawline with this. You don't want to do your forehead with this. And you want to blend it now. Make sure you blend it very well because it is a very sharp line. You do not want to keep it there. And then you should have something like this. Once you have something like that, once you are fully blended, you will you can now go in and do your nose. I use the same palette for my nose, but I do use a very skinnier brush. I use a smaller brush about this thin. It is by e.l.f. And I'm going to go in with the coolest color, which I feel is this one. Now, with your nose, I like to ground my nose and make a button nose. You don't have to, but this is what I do. I bring it down here and out here. Same with the other side, and then you want to connect it at the bottom. So now what you have here is a round nose on the bottom and you want to just make a small line and you'll come out with something like this now a lot of drag queens will keep this just like this and by all means you can do so if you're going out and drag or if you like the way it looks I personally do not do such a harsh 
contour, I like to blend it out with my beauty blender. So, blend it out. Once this is blended out, it should look something like this. You want to make sure you get right on the sides of your nose. And then I go in with a Bare Minerals um, in the color Light. It's a powder. Looks something like this. And I will take, it's very light, and I will take it right down here, the bridge of your nose. Punt, go over that line and go past you. Don't go through the line. And you should have something like this. Now you can keep it like this. I unfortunately think it's too harsh still. But by all means you can keep it like this if you like it. I take the beauty blender even if it's powder and I will go in with it. Now you should have something like this. So that is basically your contouring done. You can always add some highlight in some other places. I actually for one like to go in and do right here, right kind of where you did your concealer. I like to do this and this. So just put a, I like to just put a little bit down. I like to actually put it on the sides of my nose too. It will look a little bit skinnier from the side. And this is a very light color, so maybe you can choose a darker color. You want to blend that out. And then I like to get a little bit and just do the middle of my forehead. And just blend that. And that is your contouring done. Now before you do any of the rest of your makeup, you want to check your jawline. Is there a harsh line right there? For me, it's not too harsh. It's still a line, so I'm going to blend it out a little bit more. Bring it down a little bit, and when the line is gone, then you may start on your eyes. Now, for my eyes, I will be using a CoverGirl palette for my autumn fall look and a fluffy brush. The brush is by e.l.f. I use a lot of e.l.f. brushes. And this palette is the 119 palette and looks something like this. And I'll be using this color. It's almost all gone. I need to go shopping. And before you do that, you want to prep your eye with Cien Kusha Eye Primer. Tap it on your fingers and prep your eye. Go all up here, go in the corner of your eye. Make sure it's nice and sticky, and then start your eyeshadow. So just put the bronze on your eyelid. It, it should come out very... dark at first. It should look something like that. And then your eyes should look something like that. Now I'm going to be going in with the same brush and I'll be taking a palette. You can buy this palette about anywhere. It's a really cheap one. I don't know who's it, who it is by, but you can use any light brown. I use the lightest brown possible. You don't want it to match the bronze. You want it to be a lot lighter. And I just take it up here and kind of contour your eyes a little bit more. Make sure you stop right here, and it will add some depth to it. You see the difference? So do the same with the other eye. Bring it down to about your, the corner of your eye, and then stop. And it should look something like this. I will now take a white, really pale white, and just do under my eyebrows. Then you want to blend it all together. And you do not want to get the brown too high up to your eyebrow. So you want to be careful. But it should look something like that. It should look something like that. Now you can go in with your mascara. And I am using Extra Super Lash. You can buy this at... 
Target for like six dollars. It's not that expensive. And I like to shake and then bring up. Shake and then bring up. Once your mascara is done on the top, add some lower lashes with the mascara. I do not like to add eyeliner to this look because I feel it's too much for this look. Once you have your mascara done, you may... I actually use, after the extra super lash I use, it is by Benefit and it's called There. And this one, for me, it really does separate your lashes. That's what I feel it does the most. And it looks really good. And then that should be the finished look. And then you may add lips. And I am going to go touch up my eyebrows, put my hair down, and I will be back. So once you have finished the whole look, put your hair down. I just did my lips and my hair. I like to add a small amount of Makeup Forever Paris HD Mineral Powder. I've heard a lot of bad reviews on this, but I love it so much. If you know how to use it, you will love it too. Use very little, very little, about that much. You take on a nice fluffy brush. You want to just stiffle it into the cap, tap a little bit off, and you just want to put it over your face. People say it makes you look very ghostly. I don't think so. I don't find it to look very ghostly. But if you use the right amount, it should look fine. And that is my finished look. I hope you liked it.